Hello YouTubers and welcome to the Doctor Who Big Finish Review. This time I shall be taking a look at The Night for Fur by Graham Williams. First off I'm going to take a look at the showcasing for the CD, starting off with the front cover. At the top it says The Lost Stories, seeing as this is the first in the Lost Stories range. We have The Celestial Toymaker, played by David Bally, and we have Perry Brown and The Sixth Doctor either side of him. But within this image, you have the image of Blackpool, which is the main setting for this story. And it's Blackpool Pleasure Beach as well, as you have the, the big one. You can also see bits of computer circuitry inside there as well, which I think is a little nice touch that they put in there. The background for the CD is white. Most of the Lost Stories CD covers are like this. Usually I'm not a fan of this, but on this occasion I actually quite like it and it makes it stand out uh, along with uh, from all the rest of the audios in my collection. At the side, the very side, it says found at last. And here you just have all your usual information. So Colin Baker and Nicola Bryant, and you have Colin Baker's face from his title sequence. We just turn it to the spine. Now the spine will be very familiar with long-time Big Finish fans, as it is a reminder of what they kind of looked like in the earlier releases, in the main monthly range, which started back in 1999. I quite like this, it looks different on the shelf. Usually nowadays the spines are black on main re main range releases. But at the top here we've got Colin Baker's face and the text is a lot thicker as well. It just says Doctor Who, The Nightmare Fur. And this is release 1.1 as this is the first release in the whole range and it's the first release of the first series. Here at the back you've got the synopsis of the plot as well as the cast of the story and it's got a nice white background as well which I really quite like. The runtime for this audio CD is approximately 20, 120 minutes. There's actually two discs on this release. Uh, this story was adapted by John Ainsworth as well seeing as the audio itself was released some time after the death of Graham Williams. Taking a look inside, we have two discs. So disc one has a nice picture of the Sixth Doctor and Perry. And this features part one as well as a behind the scenes documentary. And disc two features part two. You have a picture of the Celestial Toymaker there. And again, this features a brief behind the scenes documentary and here is an advertisement for some other lost stories here we have the leaflet for this story I really like this it's very simple so again you got that nice white background you've got the Colin Baker logo and again you've got like what you see on the main cover if you just flip it around that is the actual front cover and I really like this because back when this was released in 2010 there was a lot more stuff put into these things now it's just they're a lot smaller nowadays so you've got some production notes you've got some nice behind the scenes photos and we've also got this nice art here as well of the Celestial Toy Maker there in his chamber looking on having a look at the Sixth Doctor and Perry going down on the big one. I've actually been on the big one as well. It is very... I would recommend it. Let's just say that. We have an advertisement for the Caves of Androzani, which was part of the Mighty 200 poll back in the Doctor Who magazine. That was a very long time ago. And you have an advertisement for the next episode in the Lost Stories range, which is Mission to Magnus, which sees the return of Sil and the Ice Warriors. Now, some fans of Big Finish may be familiar with the internet site Timescales, and this is a fan reviews website which is dedicated to Doctor Who, and a lot of this stuff is Big Finish stuff. Now, the reviews for this story were mainly positive to mixed, I'd say, 
we've had a few 7 out of 10s to 1 3 out of 10 I believe. So I was a bit cautious going into this one because of course the Nightmare Fur was originally a story which was abandoned in the original plans for season 23 before Michael Grade came along and spoiled everything. So the Nightmare Fur all these years later it took them nearly a quarter of a century to adapt this into an audio and I think that it works very well as an audio. I think it is a good story and I think by now the Sixth Doctor is becoming more of a likeable character because in season 22 on TV and TV in general the Sixth Doctor he didn't really have a good run of stories uh, but that's not a fault of the actor. I think Colin Baker is an absolutely fantastic actor. And Big Finish had given him the chance to shine in the audios. In this, I think he shines a lot. He's more like the Doctor what we see in the 1980s uh, on TV. But he's more likeable. Big Finish have given him more of a fleshed out performance. Plus Colin Baker has had a lot to do with the character and he he just owns the character by now. You could clearly see that he's having a lot of fun in this as well as Nicola Bryant with her ever so funny dodgy American accent but I think that the Sixth Doctor and Perry for what it is worth I think they're actually one of the best Doctor and companion pairings in the whole uh, show's history. This would have taken place after Revelation of the Daleks. So it would have been before what we saw in the Trial of the Time Lord and all of that malarkey. And I think that this would have been better than the mysterious planet, what we actually got for season 23's opener because we have a returning villain in the form of the Celestial Toymaker. Originally this role was played by Michael Goff who is known to some people as Alfred Pennyworth in some of the Batman films and I think that David Bowley he takes on the role because by then uh, Michael Goff was um, no, it was in his 90s and since then the actor has sadly passed away. I think David Bowie, he does an absolutely amazing performance. Some may think he might ham it up a bit, but I just love this guy in this audio. I really do. I think he does an absolutely amazing job. He's a great villain. I wish this story was made. I absolutely would take this story over the mysterious planet from what we got from the first segment of the Trial of the Time Lord because there's just more stuff going on. I really like the characters of Wall. There's not one character that sticks out in there and I think, oh, they're a bit annoying or bad acting or anything like that. The whole cast as a whole, I think they all do an amazing job. Colin Baker and David Belly, their scenes together, they really bounce off each other together and the resolution to this story really shows what the Sixth Doctor can really be capable of. I think it's a very well written story. Whether this is to do with the adaption of the script by Graham Williams or whether it actually was a good story to start with anyway, it sounded good from what I heard. Uh, I mean, season 23 as a whole, what was abandoned, it sounded like a very good season and I just wish it was made now instead of the Trial of the Time Lord. There are a few things which take me out of it a bit. There's a lot of pacing and that and you have 45 minutes for each part so it is just like how we would have got it back then. It is a good story. I would highly recommend you pick it up. It's an absolutely amazing idea what Big Finish and David Richardson came up with for this. Lost stories, making them for audios, there you go. It fills in a lot of gaps 
especially for the Sixth Doctor. If you're a Colin Baker fan, this is a good starting point for anyone who's new to Big Finish, who wants to get into the audios, and you're a big fan of the Sixth Doctor. The Nightmare Fur is a is definitely a good jumping on point uh, if you're a big fan of the Sixth Doctor. I highly recommend it. I'm probably going to give this a 9 out of 10. I'm going to stretch and give it a 9. I was originally going to give it an 8, but I think 9, because I actually, I actually really like this story. There's a lot of things I really like, and it, it works very well as an audio as well. wasn't so sure about it at first, because it was originally written for TV, but having listened to it now, it's brilliant, and... I just wish it was made for TV. Why, or oh why, did it have to get cancelled? Well, we have Michael Gray to blame for that. Very good story for me. One of the best uh, Colin Baker stories that I've ever heard. Uh, Colin Baker is better on audio. Just putting that out there right now. His Doctor has more stuff to do on audio it's better stories, better writing, everything like that. So yeah, that's my review of The Nightmare Fur, part of the Lost Stories range from Big Finish. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please leave some feedback on the review and stay tuned for more reviews by Media Obsessed Tuvian 95 Stay tuned for more Big Finish reviews as there's plenty more coming and... All I can say now is have a good day and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.